Hi guys, welcome back to Kraku. Doing another video today on the IMC CAT 2018 paper analysis. Right, so ever since uh, we got to know that I am Kakuta is going to be making the paper for CAT 2024 and the CAT notification came out about a month ago, a lot of you guys have been anxious about the kind of paper I am Kakuta might set because they have been known to be slightly notorious with the kind of paper they usually come up with. Right, so we thought of making a detailed video on analyzing their previous paper which was back in 2018. So here's what we're going to do throughout the video. So first we'll be looking at the listing scores over the years for 99 percentile, 95 percentile. Any point in the video you want some frame of reference, you can screenshot it, keep it, right? This is all material that we have collected and uh, represented from Kraku. So you can screenshot anything. Right. So, uh, coming back to the video, we'll be first looking at the kind of scores that were required. And then, uh, because CAT 2023 was the most recent CAT, we'll be slightly analyzing that, getting a frame of reference. And then coming to 2018, looking at the kind of scores, the kind of pattern that was there for VRC, DILR and Quant. And the kind of scores that were required, was it easy, medium, difficult? And especially with DILR, what kind of topics were asked? and what kind of topics were asked last year. So we'll be doing a full depth analysis into the 2018 paper. So let's get started. Right, beautiful Joker building here. So let's get started. So CAT 2018 score versus percentile. So firstly, um, so when you're solving previous year question papers, you are solving previous year question papers to build a frame of reference to what kind of uh, questions are asked in CAT. Previous year question papers have always have to be the starting point of your CAT preparation. It cannot be like, oh, you're doing previous year question paper during your preparation. No, it has to be the starting point of your preparation, right? So uh, if you're even serious about CAT, you're expected to be have done with the previous year papers. And also, let's be honest, CAT is changing every year, which we saw very evidently last year. That means that you have to keep up with the trends. So, you know, there's no point doing papers from like 2017 or 2016, right? 2018, we're analyzing right now because it's from the same institute. It's going to be redundant very soon. So, just the kind of questions can be useful, but there is no point going and analyzing it and scrutinizing it to a point. So, let's get started with CAT 2018 score versus percentile. So, firstly, the CAT 2018 was out of 300 marks, right? So, uh, VRC was about 34 questions, DILR was 32 questions and QA was again 34 questions. So total 300 marks, 100 questions. Right now considering this 100 percentile was slightly on the higher end 238, 99.99 uh, as expected there is a huge gap between 100 percentile and 99.99. So what is a good frame of reference for all of you? I would actually uh, plead that you guys push yourself slightly harder. Don't start looking at the marks that is required for the 99 percentile. I would encourage everyone to look at the marks that is required for 99.5 percentile. Because at that point, you will be looking at the upper strata of the top percentile. So might as well, if you're going to be aiming, aim properly, right? Because let's be honest, 13 marks out of 300 is really not a lot but that's the marks that make the difference that's what sets the 99.5 people apart to 99 right so when we analyze the 2023 scores in the next few slides you will see the kind of effect two three questions have right so because 13 marks is literally four questions and not getting one answer correct so so 167 for 99.5 is slightly more than half the mark so 99.5 was more than half the mark. So, and I'm making an emphasis on this because we will analyze 2023 paper because half the marks in the 2023 paper was 99.9 percentile. So the paper is definitely getting tougher, right? Uh, and that's the trend that's it following. And I don't see any reason why 2024 paper would be any easier than the 2023 paper. Yes, the 2023 paper was very tough, right? But I don't think they'll make a paper easier than that. It's either going to be the same difficulty or let's be honest, being more difficult is a very real possibility. 
right so you can screenshot this this is the marks required for cat 2018 score versus percentile it doesn't have much significance right but it's important to see the kind of paper Kakata made. So, uh, talking about previous year papers, let's look at the score versus percentile for over the last six years. As I was saying, the difficulty trend. So, let's uh, here we have data for the 99th percentile. So, let's look at that. So, as I said, 99, this was out of 300 marks. So, let's just write it down. So, this is 300 marks. This is 300 marks, right? This is. Um, 228 marks right and from here on it's 198 198 198 so we can see here that as we said 2019 2018 was 154 it's more than half the marks required for 99 percentile right uh, this paper 2019 was slightly easier which we can see is 156 but from COVID onwards, 2020, as we all know, there was a huge pattern change. It became uh, from three hours, it became two hours. And the number of questions significantly decreased, slightly became harder. And uh, the number of questions were reduced. So from then on, there has been a steady increase in difficulty level. Right? Especially if we see 2021 to 2020 to 2023, we can see the marks required for 99 percentile has been significantly dropping so if the total marks was 198 if we can see that 98 was almost about half the marks required right half the marks required in 2021 would get you 99 percentile but at the same time half the marks in 2023 would have gotten you 99.9 percentile there is a proper trend of increase in difficulty and uh, repeating myself, I don't see any reason why the difficulty would be any different this year. I think it will be equally difficult or more difficult and I'll explain further why Kraku and we think that is the reason. So, uh, as I said, we'll be analyzing the 2023 marks to build a frame of reference. So, this is the 2023. As I said, 101 was 99.9 percentile, which was half the marks required. Right. And uh, and actually 99.98 was only 109 point something. So it's literally was a three questions difference between 99.9 and 99.98. So 99.92, 99.98 was only three questions. So it makes you think of uh, the small differences that can push you higher. So that's why when I said that look at the 99.5 percentile, you might want to aim slightly higher because you never know the one two questions can just propel you further up the percentile so much. So you can take a screenshot of this 2023 score versus percentile analysis, right? Uh, it was slightly difficult. 76 was the marks required for the 99th percentile. And we can see all these marks are very below average for I'm sure all of you would be attempting mocks and sectionals. So 26 in quant, 27 in DILR and 39. So we'll be talking about DILR later, but with DILR, right? The scores are so crammed up, right? When you see from 15 to actually 30, right? You will see a range of 25 percentile. 15 would be around 75 to 80 percentile, and this 30 marks was 99.56 percentile. So, the range from 15 marks to 30 marks is insane for DILR always and I don't see any reason why 2024 wouldn't be the same. I honestly think the DILR in 2024 would be slightly harder and when we analyze the 2018 paper for the different topics that DILR came in, you will get an idea why uh, we think that. So, over the years, uh, they take turns making the CAT paper like the IIT for JE Advanced. So, I am Kakada last conducted in 2018, which is what we are doing right now. So, so coming to the CAT 2023 paper. So, uh, the quant weightage. I think everyone would say that uh, arithmetic had a slightly less weightage and there was more algebra. I don't think so. I think arithmetic came in the regular proportion that it usually comes in. It's just that the kind of questions that came from arithmetic required a slightly different application of the concepts, right? You would have to take more variables in the arithmetic questions in the 2023 paper across all three slots. 
and the, even the questions came from number systems which were very easy if you knew the logic and the concept right so 2023 slightly became more conceptual let's be honest and uh, this was the cat 2023 dilr so again we are moving more towards complete logical reasoning even the data interpretation was a uh, logical reasoning slash data interpretation it was not pure data interpretation we only saw one of it in slot 3 this was 3 and that's why if you guys remember slot 3 was dilr marks was almost through the roof because a lot of people could solve a lot of sets in uh, 2023 slot 3 so this was the weightage in 2023 so coming down this has been the varc over the years in 2023, we saw there were four RCs and four questions each, right? In 2018, as we talked about, there were 100 questions, 300 marks. In 2018, there were actually six RCs or four questions each. And actually, they were, I am Kakata were the ones who changed that pattern. So, if you actually see the 2017 paper, there were again six RCs, but then they alternate between six questions and three questions, right? So these guys in 2018 made it four, six RCs or four questions each and 10 VA questions. So again, don't be surprised if there is a change in pattern this year. For the last three years, there's been the same pattern. Very realistically, there might be a change in pattern. I know it scares me too, but then it's a very realistic chance, right? So let's look at dilr over the years because this was one part that was slightly interesting because so let's see 2018 there was two slots slot because it was a three hour paper there were two slots one thing we know about 2024 is going to be a two hour exam because uh, when the cad notification came out we knew that the exam is going to be conducted in three separate sessions, so it's definitely two hours long. So in slot one, we saw there was two questions, two sets from quant based LR, right? There was one question with table with missing values, right? There was one Venn diagram question, one question from puzzles, one pure arrangements question, and one data interpretation. Right, coming to slot two, there were two arrangement questions. Right, quant based LR, there was one question. Puzzles again, there was one question. Right, DI with special charts was one question. Again, table missing values was one question, and Venn diagram was one question. So, pretty much the same thing over the two slots. And you actually see 46 marks required for 99 percentile. And there was, how many questions did we say? There were 32 questions. So, out of 96 marks, 46 was required. And if you actually go see the 2018 paper, which you guys can, and I request all of you to go to the Kraku website, you can download the 2018 paper, free in PDF form, you can take it, you can take the entire 2018 paper as a test, you can take it as sectional test, you can download the PDF, the video solutions are embedded in the PDF, which you can see while studying. So we have the we have everything that you would require in the Kraku website, which I think you guys should check out. So coming to this, so 46 marks required out of 96. And if you actually see the DILR paper of 2018, you will see that the sets were actually very, very, very doable. Like the arrangement set here, you should you can do it in less than six, seven minutes. Right. So in 2018, it was more stamina than uh, accuracy and getting the two sets correctly. Right. From there, we have moved on to 2023. That was last year, where two sets correct, 30 marks was 99.56 percent. Right. So we have moved all the way from here to here, and I don't think there's going to be a change in trend. Right. The sets were easy, they were very doable. Actually, all of these sets, the quant based LR table, Venn diagram. So Venn diagram was slightly hard, but puzzles, arrangements, especially, and DI, which might be time consuming, but you are expected to do it quickly and get it correct. Right. All of them very, 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 very doable. Right. You can do the set in like six, seven, or even less than 10 minutes. So if you're taking 10 minutes per set in uh one hour you can do more than four four and a half sets which was what was required for 
99th percentile. So yeah, there were six sets and uh, yeah, 60 minutes for the mm, section, right? But 2024, we know the section is going to be 40 minutes for short, right? We don't know the kind of DIL as that. But one thing that we can notice is over the years, which we saw here also, is that the sets are more numerical in manner, right? Even the scheduling in 2023 was slightly arrangements, but then it still required a lot of logical reasoning. But the remaining three, this was a quorum-based LR, table with missing values was also a quorum-based LR to be fair, right? And then again, another quorum-based LR, right? And if you actually see the rest, there was another table with missing values. This was a quorum-based DI, quorum-based LR, table with missing values. All right, and then we come to here. So there's been a constant trend where the stats are coming more from the numerical side than the complete logical reasoning side where there are just pure arrangements and uh, other stuff. And I think that is the focus that should be there in the preparation where the sets are solved more towards the numerical end. Even scheduling it can be very numerical with arrangements. Scheduling is kind of an arrangements plus quant based LR. Uh, yeah, so sets are going to be more of numerical in manner, which I think we can be sure of. The 2024 paper will see a fair amount of DILR sets from the numerical side. So that goes for DILR. Let's see the quant section. Actually, if you see the quant section for 2018, everyone keeps saying the quant section for 2023 was difficult, which it was. Right? Marks clearly indicated. Right? Uh, 26 was required for 99%. But I would encourage you guys to go have a look at the 2020, 2018 paper for quant, right? And I honestly, so I think that if the two papers were like given without any label and you were asked to identify, I don't, I don't really think there's any difference. There's very, very small difference. The, paper, the questions are very similar. The style of questions, the kind of questions, the kind of topics the questions have come from, it's very, very similar. Uh, as in, it was difficult. Right? Uh, clearly, it was difficult because in the 2018 paper, you can get 34 questions. And there was equal weightage for geometry. Logs came a lot in this. Right? Arithmetic was also all over the place. And actually, one thing with arithmetic, if you can, if you want to see what I'm talking about, go download the paper from the Krakow website. You'll see it. Arithmetic was not the regular kind of arithmetic. Right? You had to drop cases where they found, uh, where they you were asked to find the uh, maximum possible value or minimum possible average right or what can be the score right so arithmetic was also not regular arithmetic you had to use your regular arithmetic conception knowledge to probably some make some cases and get the maximum possible value minimum possible average what can be the number of this is one question from 2018 where uh, 105 people like burgers some people like pizzas what can be the on number of people that like burgers right so it's more case like it's not your regular arithmetic section don't go in saying that last year paper was difficult so this year will be easy i don't think so i think it will be slightly on the difficult end uh, even though if it's not as difficult as this it will be on the similar level it cannot be very less difficult than this so i think this and this were very similar papers actually. If you go see, I'd, I'd encourage you all to go see the 2018 paper. It's pretty difficult. And I think we can expect something on that level itself. Right? So, so concluding the video, I think DILR will be on more, we think it will be slightly on the more numerical end because that's what the trend has been suggesting. Even last year, the, the sets progressively were more from quant based LR scheduling and everything. Right, coming to quant, it's definitely getting harder, right? We might see more of modern math, right? Last year was the first year where we saw proper conceptual knowledge for number system that was required to solve the sets. But the thing is, if you have decent knowledge for number systems, you can solve those questions in like under a minute, right? So that's why studying all the concepts becomes very important, right? So, I think, yeah, I don't think the paper is going to be plain and simple where questions come from arithmetic and algebra is just simple application. I think it's going to be slightly more complex. I personally think it's going to be more difficult than the 2023 paper because there is no point making a paper easier than that. It, it, uh, the trend is it's moving towards more difficult. I think I am Kakata will continue the trend. So that is the end of the video. So as we talked about uh, in the Kraku website, there is a bunch of 
previous year question papers which you can get in pdf form you can take it as a complete test you can take it as a sectional test which i think you guys should after especially if you watch today's video here you'd see that previous year question paper becomes so important to get a proper reference point of what kind of questions come in the previous year cat right so check it out i think it's pretty good and and i honestly think when i was preparing for cat i always used to get cracko pdfs because they were just neat organized there was no ridiculous ads in the middle of the website you didn't have to sign up you can just directly download it and use their service right thank you